Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bert Eichold, Health Officer of Mobile County. Today is October the 11th. COVID in Mobile County continues to be decreased in community transmission rate. We are not at the 5% community transmission rate at this time. That's what we previously stated is the point where we're at a low risk for our COVID-19. We've had some numbers that uh, have been relatively flat. So on uh, October the 9th, we had, uh, uh, excuse me, on the 6th, we had 71 persons in the hospital. That was for the 5th and 6th of October, 71 in the hospital. We went down to a low on October the 8th of 47 persons in the hospital with COVID. And it's now upwards to 68 and again today was 67. So good news about COVID transmission in the community, relatively low, but we're still not over COVID-19. We've had some interesting questions about uh, persons who had breakthrough disease. So somebody who is fully vaccinated and there's a 10% chance that you can get infected individual did get infected, then received monoclonal antibodies, which is appropriate by the guidelines of who qualifies for monoclonal antibodies. But the question came back is how long does that individual need to quarantine? And that's 10 days. So from the time that just like close contacts or with infectious disease, from the time that you test positive, regardless if you're fully vaccinated, if you test positive, you have a 10 day quarantine period. That's the time period you need to protect others from getting COVID-19. Some of the people may be fully vaccinated, but again, 10 days from the time you test positive, uh, you need to be in quarantine. If you're symptomatic from disease, you need to be at least 24 hours disease free. Uh, so you have no symptoms and 10 days uh, for your quarantine period. A great question. Lots of things going on with COVID-19, but we're really excited about our healthcare team, getting people tested, getting people monoclonal antibodies, preventing hospitalizations, limiting the extent of the disease and limiting death. We had three persons reported dead uh, in Mobile County in the past 24 hours. We're trying to refine that data a little more because the Alabama Department of Public Health lists the number of people since the previous report. So we're going to try to get better information. Mark, our public information officer, sends out in email how many people were confirmed in the past 24 hours. But we're going to try to get that added to our daily report so that people can better understand what's going on. A tremendous amount of sadness for loss of life. For those of you who have lost a family member or a loved one to COVID, our deepest, deepest sympathies. But please, everyone else, get vaccinated so we have no further losses. COVID is going in the right direction. We're not down to 5% community transmission rate, so we're still recommending people mask when in the presence of someone who you do not know their vaccine status. As we enter football season, uh, please be cautious. Hopefully you'll sit next to people who are vaccinated. Uh, we hope that we do not see an uptick uh, in COVID transmission rates. We know the incubation period can be up to 10 to 14 days. So please be safe and thank you everyone for taking it seriously. Thank our school board members for taking it seriously safe distancing, masking, washing your hands are still important and we will get through this COVID-19 experience. So please communicate with your friends, family and loved ones to get vaccinated uh, and hopefully uh, COVID will continue to decrease community transmission rates over the next several weeks. So thank you so much and we appreciate everybody taking COVID seriously.